Good morning, folks. It's the first day of December, and we've got science news. Space weather, Earth weather, geoengineering, galactic magnetic fields, and Taurus jet plasma cosmology. Beginning at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on our star very quiet. We do have coronal holes, no sunspots or solar flares. We did have a small filament blow out over the southeastern limb, zooming in on it here to see the only eruptive behavior of the last day. The solar wind is up next. In purple, you can see the slight increase in solar wind intensity that occurred over the last 24 to 36 hours, but scale on the left tells us it barely cracked 400 kilometers per second, so the stream was still very weak, leaving geomagnetic conditions quiet. Nothing is going to be calm and quiet in the central block of the Philippines later tonight and into next week. The slow-moving system is planning a sightseeing vacation and plans to trudge across the country with no rush whatsoever. Major flood potential, eyes open. An exceptionally rare November tornado dropped in Iowa. The low in the states is developing strong storms on its southeastern side and more snow and record cold on the northwestern side. Looking at the low pressure cell in the U.S., we can see that its wind convergence to the southeast is where the strongest storms develop. This is because at that line where the winds crash together, the air masses have different moisture, temperature, aerosols, electric potential, etc. These are all equalized as they mix, and the rapid changes result in energetic conditions. There is indeed more on deck for today as the system tracks eastward, while that next Pacific storm begins affecting the west. Today we'll kick off the science news with an examination of space weather risk both in one circumstance and then broader in general. Using historical events that have affected the electrical system, they confirm one of the more devastating potential power disruptions for the U.S. in solar storms, and then more broadly for the world. Space weather is underestimated in terms of its potential to devastate the planet. If the induction is significant enough, every copper wire on the Earth is in jeopardy. Just a reminder that this risk increases by the day as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken. We're going to take a quick peek here on colliding galaxies. Hubble has spotted two systems dancing and destined to collide. If it looks like there is material between them, just very sparse and diffuse, that's right. It's from their first flyby interaction, where some of the gases wound up stripped from the system and in the middle. Up next, one of the worst ideas in human history, weather modification. More specifically, geoengineering by stratospheric aerosols to block sunlight. In a new paper, they describe yet another reason why this is a terrible idea. Some regions are going to get disproportionate effects, while others may actually be harmed by the process, taking effects that are completely opposite to that which is intended. For those who don't know, this channel firmly stands against weather modification. We know the operations and tests have occurred, as some have even been publicized. Our goal in the rare coverage here, however, is to point out a mainstream paper that you can use as ammunition, as opposed to something else that might make you sound crazy, which ends up hurting everybody. Moving on now to a paper, finally in print once again months after we saw it here in preprint. The reversing magnetic field of the galactic sectors is detailed in two papers that also go over the field strength and effect on cosmic ray propagation. FYI, the radio halo images show where the electrons around the galaxy are being accelerated by magnetic fields. Last but not least, great to get back to the Taurus jet model. Both at large scale and small, this is toroidal and poloidal fields in a system together, respectively. They are seen around planets, stars, galactic nuclei, and entire galaxies themselves. It may even be the large scale shape of the Laniakea and Perseus Pisces cluster groups, too. Once again here, it's the use of radio to spot magnetic field effects on electrons, and for those newer to the program and not entirely sure what the Taurus jet model looks like, this is what we've got in mind. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Thinking about your conversations with others about geoengineering or other topics in the community and that comment I made about sounding crazy, ask yourself, do you come across like a gardener caught in a war or a warrior in a garden? Got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close? We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.